Okay, well, I found all this yesterday. Another deer carcass. You can see where stuff's been chewing on the ribs. Possibly even Bailey. That slip used to be over here. And this limb that's laid across it. This came out of one of these walnut trees. And as you can see, there's an apple tree above me. And over here's what I found most interesting. All these little sticks lined up. Those are actually stuck in the ground. Pretty deep too. I'm gonna leave them big just to see if they change. I just wanted to document all this. There's a uh, more bones down here in the yard, and I found what what's either a uh, track or it could be from Bailey stepping twice. It's not a very big track. It could be where she double stepped it. But it looks like it's got five toes and uh, elongated somewhat. Not like a dog track at all. There's no claw marks in it either. I filmed it yesterday. I don't know. It's a, one of those things that's hard to tell. Look down here, see if anything else happened from last night. There's a couple more bones. That one's actually broken. I see one over here. I found all this yesterday. I got a few of them, but I went on forever. Talking, there's another one. My deer that I get, there's another one that's snapped in two. And that's, that takes a lot of force to do that. It's not chewed in two, it's snapped in two. The deer I get, I usually take them down the road. <laughs> far enough away to where I know Bailey's not going to drag anything in. Sorry. I'm trying to get covered up here. Uh, never quit trying to there's something over here too. So, I mean, she might have scattered some of this. I don't know, maybe they brought her something up to the barn. There's more sticks in the ground, kind of a glyph type thing that was stuck in the ground. There's no trees above us. I guess the wind could have blowed that, but let me check out the gift and stuff. This is what's so nice about having them come to your house. You don't have to go out very far. More bones. More, I mean, there's just bones everywhere right now. A lot of them broke in two. I guess Bailey could chew on them and snap them in two, maybe. They looked them better yesterday. They don't look like they've been chewed on, just broken. I didn't see anything new here yesterday except for this block was flipped up and had a chunk on top of it. I don't know how that would have occurred. Naturally, this is, I did drag this picnic table over here. So, there's that. Maybe I've done it, but you can see the creek's up a bit. But yeah, this, this is what's good about having them come around to your place. Uh, you can always pretty much count on that. It's not another human messing with you. You know, you, you know your yard like you know, your, you know the inside of your house. There's, just, there's bones everywhere. Where's, I mean, and it's from a couple of deer it looks like. Again, I don't know if the boogers are bringing them in. Look, I mean, how many jawbones is that? Five now? I don't know if the boogers are bringing the bones in. Bailey locks the bones. She'll chew on them. What a mess. I wish it would quit raining so I could clean this up some.
But I'm just wanting to document this. It's uh, like I'm saying, it's kind of a blessing to have them come to, come to you. You don't have to go out. I mean, I've got literally crocs on the ground research. Even though I do like to get out in the hills and poke around and see what's up, what they're doing up there in the woods. It's always interesting. But uh, there you have it again, my 200 acres. It's just me. Nobody else can, is coming up and putting X's up and doing this and that. And, I mean, I would know. You would know. <clears throat> if you pay attention. Uh, sorry about the live stream last night, but for whatever reason, the hour's not working and the. Uh, parabolic wasn't working with the phone. I'm going to try a couple other things. I don't know. Y'all have a good day. I got to get ready for work. Y'all boys. And thanks everyone for your uh, prayers and your thoughts and all that. That, that really meant a lot to me. God bless.